Alright, guys, uh, talk a little bit about the offensive performance. Uh, when you guys have been well, what have you guys been doing? Right? I mean, our main thing right now, we just got to get our offensive line together. And then, I mean, just picking up, working hard. Like, today we had a good offensive line practice. Like Coach said, one of the best practices we had so far this year. Go line. I mean, just solidly just pounding it off. We got good running backs, far running running backs. So we need to open the holes, create more in the, on the run game. And that opens up for the pass situation. I mean, we could be an unstoppable team on offense. We just got to keep working hard on offensive line. We just got to keep working hard. What's been the hardest thing for you guys on third down? I mean, the hardest thing on third downs is just, I mean, it really ain't nothing hard on third down. I mean, it's be us killing ourselves. We, the defense we're going against is ain't nobody has stopped us. We stopped us, our, we stopped us ourselves mentally. I mean, just one assignment mistake. Because you need love in the play. I mean, one player, one plus, one position messed up, and then that's the whole play right there. I mean, that's been our main thing is just us killing ourselves, shooting ourselves in the foot. On, mainly, on third, mainly on third downs because we're getting a third down situation or it'd be a penalty to put us third and long or second down we had mess up a play to get us in third and long and we stay in the range because we, we have been winning our third down ranges from the, from 10 yards out so I mean right now we play like 9 for 17 on the season of first, first, down, first, first down completions but I mean we're stepping it up though so I mean we're going to have a we're going to have a nice game this week Coach talks a lot about football intelligence what are you guys doing this week you know getting ready for the home opener to kind of just get more you know, mentally ready Mentally ready, we just, I mean, we, we work hard. We've been working hard since day one since I got out here. I mean, that's one thing we do work hard. Uh, mentally preparing ourselves off the field, the things we put in our body, the things we work out. I mean, we work hard. We got one of the hardest working weight room teams, I can say that, in the nation. So, I mean, mentally we prepare. It's just it's just our physical ability of just, I mean, mental, FBI intelligence, just not jumping, not jumping the gun, getting them penalties. We need, we need to lower our penalties and just create bigger holes on the O-line. I mean. Coming home, uh, you, I mean, you've never played in the Kibbe Dome. What are you most excited about uh, for your Kibbe Dome opener? Well, I heard certain things about Kibbe Dome. I mean, like they said, main thing, we had them two losses. I mean, if anything, if we go Owen, Owen, whatever, we, we must protect this house. I mean, I just want to not lose in the Kibbe Dome. So that's my main thing, just not getting lost in the Kibbe Dome. Just making a big impact, bringing all the fans every week. So make it, every home game could be big. I mean, just holding this, holding this protection in this house, and we're going to get everyone in the Kibbe Dome. Yes, sir. And for you as a receiver, what has it been like? What has it been like working with uh, both quarterbacks, Chad and Josh? I mean, Chad and Josh, they both got the same type of ability. So I mean, either one, I, I would kind of sometimes I'd be forgetting who's that quarterback when I go out running routes. I'd be looking for the ball, but Josh, he's still on the ground. He's, he's pretty nice. I played against him in junior college, so I mean, he's pretty deadly when it comes to running. I mean, he's a, he's a hard runner. I mean, if, I mean, I know the coaches don't want him to slide, but. It's going to take a toll on our quarterbacks. I mean, I, every now and then they ain't going to slide, but it's going, it's going to be some situation they're going to get some back because it's good to slide. So, I mean, I think they'll be more physically ready if they don't get too much beaten because it would be, be, be too many hits on them in the first quarter. So, that, that kind of slows down, too. So, I mean, I hope they do something to fix that. But if not, they just got to work hard and run hard every time. How much is that on you guys as receivers on the outside blocking for those guys? I mean, our blocking technique, Coach Sinko's a good blocking technique outside running numbers. I mean, our blocking technique is perfect. We both, we, we probably one of the hardest receiver quarter blocks the most. Obviously, we got Trent. He's a good blocker. We got Roman Runner. We got Najee. He got two pancakes today. He did work hard in practice. I mean, we got a good blocking for receivers. I mean, that's one thing we don't worry about is our receivers. I mean, we, we work hard. We listen to the coach. I mean, we just got to execute more. We just got to keep working hard. Offensively, do you feel like you guys took a step backward last week compared to what you did in the Uh, No, nah, actually I didn't because I felt like that fourth quarter we really finally opened up. We know what we could have did. Like the, the first game, we, we, we really didn't execute nothing until that first drive. The first game. And then in the fourth quarter of the last game, I thought we took a step forward because we started executing, marching down the field more easier. We had almost we, we marched down the field almost every play every time every time we had the possession in the fourth quarter of that game, and it, it kind of opened the ropes for this game because we know what to do. Well, you're playing a team, a BCS bowl team from last year. They beat Iowa in their opener. How tough is this defense going to be for you guys? I mean, ain't no defense tough. I mean, it's any given Saturday out there. If you, it's, it comes down to what, who want to work the hardest on the field at that time. I mean. Like I said, Wyoming, North Texas, they all had good defenses. There ain't no difference from North, Northern Illinois. I mean, it's just who want to work, who was want to win, who got, who got the more desire to win that day. That's about it.